harvest, day four. Here we go. So at four o'clock this morning, Billy and Dan left to go spraying. Uh, what are we doing today? Mike's collecting bits and bobs. Um, we've got the big 8R coming in. We're gonna change the hitch over and then we're also going to change the hitch on the baler as well. So that's the first job. Lucy's going to get all the rakes and the cheddars to grease them up so they are ready if we need them. I think we've got a little bit more hay to do next week. So they'll all be ready and we can just use them instead of having to faff around, sort them out before we go. Ben's, uh, the fuel tank's broken at the minute. So Ben's wiring the fuel tank up. Not wiring, sorry. I think he's just putting a pump in it or something. Um, so that's the date. Let's go and see what gets on. Let's just go and help Sam take the brand new cultivator off the 8R. Did you see that? That was funny. The new AR has like almost handles to help you wind down because basically our link arms wouldn't go low enough to drop it off. We had to manually, well, Sam and Ben had to manually write manually wind it so yeah not seen that before that's obviously a new feature on the new john deere's here she comes i wonder if sam's figured out that it uh, does give you a massage on the way <laughs> So we're wanting to change the hitch over so we have a bull hitch on it for the baler. I think it's on purple, the purple spool valve. Or, yeah, purple. Oh no, it's on. it's on! So for the pickup hitch, uh, you have to put the pipes in. Uh, IV! To get it out, but this wasn't plugged in. The mowers are all ready to go on the 6250, ready for a little bit of last bit of hay. Ben's fixing. You alright Ben? Hello. 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 <laughs> you alright? <laughs> now it's time to clean the shed out. Here comes Sam reversing the baler out. I'll just check his other side. Yeah, he's alright. Very good. Here comes the baiter. So we've had a little look, obviously, we can't get the 8R in to get the baler because all the pallets are in the way. Um, we could easily get it in and swing it out, but the tailgate of the where the bales come out is definitely going to hit the wall. So we thought, let's go and put the front weight box on first, um, and then we can get the baler out. So this box I took off the 6250s, is now going on the 8R. don't know if you remember it from my video yesterday or the day before. That's a good job done. That is now on. We had a little bit of trouble because it was going like on an angle, up and down, up and down, but we've managed to adjust it and it all looks good. Time for moving pallets. Oh, Billy's home. He's just obviously filling up the tanker with a bit of water. Before I move pallets, I need some pallet forks though, so let's go and find them. Hopefully Lucy's not in the way. Well, that was a good job done. I'm trying to get the old Zeta to work. 
but it, uh, it's a funny thing. We've got a bit of easy start and a screwdriver <laughs> to make it work. This split pen, come on. That's not been too bad, I've had worse. No, it's just bad. thick, isn't it? It's just, you've got to take time. Well, unless you have one the same size, we'll probably end up reusing it. So I don't really want to pull that one out then. No. Turn it uh, upwards. That's it. What are you doing, Ben? Munching. <laughs> Munching? <laughs> no, Ben's fixing the JCB um, window screen washer. He's got the ram stop in there, so the boom's not going to fall on him. And you just need help yeah, taking this off, do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've just been to Acorn and Newbury, a bearings company. Oh, he's shouting at me because I've got the key in here. Uh, so I've been to get some bearings. Oh, these are the new bearings for the cultivator. What have you been doing, Luce? Uh Doing all the greasing of the rakes and the tires. Oh, how many tubes of grease have you gone through? Three. About two. <laughs> oh, not too bad. So no, not too bad. You greased all the tethers, all the rakes, so they're ready to go. Yeah. You've done a really good job, actually, <laughs> uh, because you've cracked through them all, and it's not taking you very long. About an hour each. <laughs> each? <laughs> yeah. But at least you've done them properly, I suppose. Uh, keeps you busy. Changing the old girl's tires. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's how you get it down. <laughs> We've managed to get all the screws out, so should just... Oh, there we go. Lift off. We're trying to get the tyre off the bead so we can change it. Come on, Luce. Well, hey. Nearly there. Oh, it's coming. Well, hey. She did it. Okay, you can take it out of the vice now. You want a 13 mil? Yeah, I do. Let me go into the spanner drawer. Do mm -hmm. well, Just under it the other way, Luce. No, you have to loosen it and then you press the button. <gasps> Thank you, Anna. That's okay. We won't. That's it. I'll go in a bit down. Yeah. Uh, well, we've already done that bit. Can we do it? It in there, that's it. Perfect. Now we'll go a little bit further in. Yes, Lucy. Ben's hard work. Are you ready? Well, I've got to fix now, <laughs> yeah, alright, let's try this. <laughs> this is going on YouTube, Ben. Oh, you better not do that on YouTube. <laughs> Way! We can see! So they not work for you? No, no not really. <laughs> really. Okay, do the top ones then. Oh! What's the, oh what's yes, the back? and the back. They all work. Amazing news. Do the back ones then. Oh, you've got a leak, look. Right. Oh. Where? Oh. It's meant to come down there. It's not in the cab, is it? No, I suppose not. Okay, well, let's have a look. Yay! Okay, that's good now. Oh. A bit more? A little bit more. Go, go, go. So just going to fill the fuel up and have a little bit of something for it to eat and then we'll come back out and carry on. She's come for a ride with me which is very kind of her because she could have gone home. 